one second from every episode of One Piece. Let's jump right in. All right, here we go. Start with episode one, peak. Episode two, four, five. Come on, dog. What is this? Romance Dawn East Blue Saga? Come on. Surat Village, I wasn't a big fan of. You guys, you guys, you guys know why. You guys know how it is. Usopp's, I like Usopp now, but in the beginning, it took him a little while to grow on me. Baratie is where I really start to enjoy One Piece, right? Like that Zoro Mihawk stuff, like Sanji's backstory. Chef's Kiss, I remember watching this. Arlong Park, where I was like, yo, this shit might be turnt. You know what I'm saying? The walk to Arlong Park is probably just easily my favorite scene in like the East Blue Saga as a whole. Just peak, bro. Just straight peak. Then we get a Logue Town. Oh my god. I was really watching it. I remember texting my friend who watched One Piece. I was like, yo, this shit, this, this shit is some gas, bro. Let me tell you. And he was like, dude, I know. Just keep watching. Here we get to the Grand Line. Laboon, bro. Why did I care so much about a whale? Hello? Hello? Why did I care about a whale? Alabasta, oh, not even Alabasta yet. We got a little garden. Little garden was all right. It was cool. It was solid. You know what I mean? It, it, it wasn't bad. Oh my God. Drum Island was the first time the show made me like tear up slash cry because of Chopper's backstory. That shit was so sad for no reason, bro. That is the first time I really like teared up watching the show. Not the last time, but the first time. Alabasta, introduction of the goat ace. No, you guys, you guys have some filler in there, you know, you know, you know how it is, but whew, peak, bro. Alabasta, I think, I think some people, I think Alabasta is pretty highly rated. But then, oh my God, that episode, I was blown away. I think some people um downplay Alabasta a little bit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some people call it kind of mid, which I don't like. Peak. You saw that punch? Peak. This fight? Gas. Pell should not have lived, but that's besides the point. Oh my god. And Matt with the X, you see Robin joining the crew. Now what we got some filler that I, I skipped. You know, I'm not I'm not a real fan. It's like get the fuck out of here. Uh, what's next? Jaya? <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Sorry. That was see that it always gets me. Nolan Bellamy oh, Mary. Oh my god, bro trip down memory lane like okay i'm not the biggest guy pf fan I'll, I'll tell you guys straight up i was not the biggest guy pf fan i think the in the beginning of it was really cool and then the end of it was really cool but i feel like the like the middle part when they were fighting like when they're doing like the games or whatever the fuck they call them it just dragged for me it dragged so much and i was like come on bro let's let's fight god already you know what i mean but it was still good, bro. Let me don't get that twisted. That shit had me hype. When he hit him, I was like, oh my god, bro. How did I not think of that? Luffy is rubber. <laughs> okay, that Nolan backstory was kind of gas. I'm not gonna lie to you. Peak. <laughs> G8. G8 is the only filler I watched. No, no, no. I watched another one with like the little girl and the dragon. But uh, G8 was actually kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. G8 wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Oh my god, the fu okay, so people don't like the Foxy arc and I thought it was kind of like fun. I, I, honestly, I thought it was kind of fun and refreshing. Like I, I had fun like with the with the what was it like rollerblading or something. I, th I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, QG bro, the start of Water 7. Fucking peak, bro. Water 7. This is when I fell in love with One Piece, okay? So before I was like, holy shit, this, this stuff is good. But it was probably that Usopp versus Luffy fight where I really fell in love with this shit. I, I think I bro, I had COVID watching Water 7. Like I binged it in any lobby while I had COVID. It was just so amazing. Like the whole stuff with Mary and like the mystery behind CP9 and Robin. Just that shit had me like this, bro. I'm telling you. It, it was just so good. And then we got to see Gear 2 and Gear 3. Like just the emotional like hold that this arc had on me is unreal luffy versus bluno hard bro robin's backstory oh my god i started tearing up again it's not like it's just not funny how good or how hard oda cooked with this shit like bro bro what you, you guys see the gif of the the guy writing with his pen and the paper on fire that was oda bro writing water 
right in water seven and he's loud you right rob lucci versus luffy gas zoro versus kaku gas sanji versus the wolf guy I forget his name gas my god the buster call all of that mary coming oh my god and i start tearing up for a boat bro like oh post ennies fire fire i love the post arc kind of things where they're like where everybody's finding out what the straw hats just did that was my favorite episodes ah uh, what is this more filler and then into what thriller bark okay so i'll keep it a buck again i like brooke a lot um but thriller bark not my favorite arc it was it was solid it was solid honestly but there were some points i did drag for me honestly i i didn't like um i don't know if this is unpopular uh i didn't really like luffy uh getting all jacked when he took in all those like shadows or whatever uh yeah i wasn't the biggest fan of that but you know i wasn't i didn't care about gekamoria or ors honestly they were really not very compelling uh hold on let me get a text message here let's see. but uh yeah like that i didn't i didn't really uh like kuma this this saved the arc for me the nothing happened in kuma stuff that literally in brooks backstory bro that shit that shit was peak it, it made watching thriller bark worth it and here we get sabaody sabaody is when i keep saying this it's like when i fell in love with one piece but this is when one piece i think jumped above naruto for me because i was always back and forth between the two but sabaody from all, to Mar post marine ford is my favorite stretch of arcs i think in anime and the only thing that comes close to that is like uh, the pain arc or like itachi and sasuke and then the dry and pain to like five kage summit and the five kage summit into like four that stretch is gas like that's the only thing that comes close to this for me honestly amazon lily i fucked with impel down i fucked with amazon lily not so much as impel down marine ford peak of the peak we get introduced to so many characters oh my god bond clay jimbe bro we get introduced to jimbe the fucking goat and who do we get crocodile back luffy versus M magellan yes dude and i think it's so interesting how oda can like create an arc where none of the straw hats are around it's just luffy that's how you know this man can cook like his one of the, his arguably the best his best arc has none of the straw hats except for luffy whitebeard is such an amazing character the admirals versus like oh my god bro this, this whole thing with eights and garbs like compel like, like his complex like feelings peak bro and blackbeard showing up shank showing up like this war was just insane and luffy having to deal with this oh my god and the, the, this flashback with him and sabo and ace this shit killed me bro it's just so good like i don't know how oda does it i don't know how i don't know how he thinks of this shit but he does it and then we get to check in with all you know the crew members luffy goes back to marine ford they all find out what happened and then what then what see you in two years now we're back to sabo Odi. back to the place it all started two years ago where they got separated <laughs> down to fishman island now okay so I, i'm gonna be on here here i'll let you guys in on a little secret when i first watched fishman island i expected it to be worse than it was because i saw a lot of people like downplaying it and uh saying it wasn't that great i personally enjoyed it but now i'm watching i shinobi jack the boss he, he's actually got some shit going on with his channel so you know go to his twitter and like at youtube or whatever go help him out please because i love watching him but i'm actually watching him watch fishman island and watching him watch it i'm appreciating it a lot more bro like it's really actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you like when i saw luffy do what was a red hawk against horty i was like holy shit holy shit oh my god in that big mom scene i remember watching that i had to replay it like seven times wait he told big man big man big mom he does not give a fuck oh and here we got punk hazard introduce the kine mom are you kidding me law comes back smoker this is this is where we see the alliance 
So we see the alliance, Goku, Goku in a One Piece video. Would you look at that? We see the alliance with Law and fucking Luffy in the Straw Hats that last all the way through where we are now, which is just mind blowing. Law is one of my favorite characters easily. This whole like thing with Doflamingo and his backstory. Oh my God. Now Punk Hazard was decent. It was all right. They had some highs, like some of these fights. Um, but it also has some lows like the two I giant ice brothers. I did not give a fuck about them Like what the fuck was that and all them little ass kids, bro? Fuck them fuck them kids, but uh, yeah, like that shot with Alkiji and Doflamingo hard bro hard the flame flame fruit Dress Rosa as a whole was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you, but that shit was long as fuck like bro it did not need to be that long grabbing shot oh my god like i don't know i don't remember specifically what i like felt dragged but it that shit definitely dragged bro i i think it was like the whole luffy going to fight do flamingo like that shit took way too long i don't i don't know and they show the same goddamn flashback like every episode like with rebecca and kiros like i fucking get it bro like i get it god usopp peak moment i actually reacted to god usopp uh, so if you want to go see that that was like a long time ago though. I, I kind of stepped it up in my reaction I wasn't as hype. I don't think but uh, yeah peak Sabo we see Sabo is alive Fujitora Pika Shit man. Yeah, okay. Dress Rosa had a lot of highs. It had it had some it had some highs Doflamingo is a great villain. I really do like him and I I love the uh, law and his like dynamic uh it was like this point where I was like, all right, bro, we're about to see them box. We get Law's backstory, Dofi's backstory, all this. And then I feel like it just dragged. Corazon? Shit. Yeah, and then we see like fights with all these guys. And it's like, I don't really give a fuck, honestly. I, I, I don't. So the Senor Pink fight was cool. Uh, Zoro versus Pika Gas, obviously. It's Zoro. Uh, Luffy and Bellamy. Yes! When they stop Law or stop Dofi from fucking finishing off Law. I was like, holy shit, gear four, gas. And then that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, man. Dress Rosa, Pete, we get introduced to Kaido. And then the whole like post Dress Rosa, I think with Fujitora was pretty good. Uh, and then we get the, the what is it? 5,600 man fleet. Straw has our big time now. Now we're on to Zo. I, I liked Zo, honestly. I wasn't really a fan of the Minx. I was really uh interested to see what happened with Sanji. Uh and the whole like Rizo Dono is safe. Gas dog. Setting up Wano. And then we get to see like Sanji leaving to go to Whole Cake. And then Luffy going after him to set up Whole Cake. Oh yeah, we get to find out God Nami. We get to, we get to see the um uh, we get Road Pony Glyphs to explain all that. A lot of stuff starts happening, dude. Like, they're setting a Wano pretty fucking hard. Then we go into Whole Cake. Whole Cake. Before I saw Wano, Whole Cake was probably my favorite arc post time skip. I, I just thought it was so good. There was not, like, a single moment. No, in the beginning. The beginning. All this bullshit I didn't really like with, like, Cracker and stuff. But once we got past that, I thought Whole Cake was flames bro brook is like the mvp of this arc and it's not even funny this sanji versus luffy fight gas bro i was sitting there like holy shit what am i watching pedro oh my god the goat reiju the goat oh my god jim bag the goat his scene tell a big mom to fuck off you know what i mean gas oh my god <laughs> it's just so fucking peak when they when they crash big mom or the wedding get Katakuri? How can I even forget to talk about Katakuri? Katakuri is literally the GOAT. I don't know how I would have cooked with him too. Him, fuck Big Mom, bro. Katakuri is a dog. He's the main one. Bro, Luffy versus Katakuri, gas. I actually reacted to that fight, the last one where Luffy, not the, is it, was it the end? It was where Luffy went Snake Man. Bro, I, it was one, there's just one scene specifically. Katakuri was like, that man is about to drop you all using his future site i was like oh my god he knows bro he knows luffy is about that the end of whole cake was a little weird for me when they were all, like playing that fucking song and like i got my god bro's laying on his back gas dude whole cake was peak i don't care what anybody says he said i'll wait for you in wano the fifth emperor Oh my god, uh, we get more world building. What was that? Green Bull, Shiro Hoshi. Okay, so we got the reverie. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? 
There's a king, bro. The, th the throne ain't empty. And here we go into Wano. Wano, my favorite arc in all of One Piece. Probably, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll make a video where I rank all the arcs and I'll make a separate video where I go through my favorite moments from each arc. I don't, I can't, bro. I honestly can't decide. Wano was so built up and God damn, it delivered. This first fight with Luffy and Kaido, fuck, dude. That shit was gas. It was so good. But I, I did not expect it to be that good. Bro, Luffy was pissed. Bro, I was jumping on rooftops to get the Kaido. And then all this middle stuff with uh with Wano, I actually like, bro. I've talked to some friends and they were like, oh, I just want to see Luffy fight Kaido. You know, I just want to get to the good stuff. Like, I don't care about all this filler stuff. That guy, he's the GOAT. I loved all of Wano. All of this, like, filler stuff, not filler, but you guys know what I mean. Like, the stuff in between, what is this, Wano Act 2? Like, all of this, I actually enjoy heavily. Like, really, really. Like, oh my god. And see, uh, Zoro versus Killer? Gas. And then them preparing for the raid? Gas. Odin flashback? Oh my god, bro. I did not expect to like Odin as much as I did. We get to see Roger and Whitebeard. It, I just... Oh my god, bro. Like, this show just does something that no other show can do. Odin was such a goaded character. We get to see fucking... There, there we go, the raid. Where the, where they leave for the raid. We get to see Jinbei. Peak episode. Okay, boom. So raid starts. Now we're boxing. We're boxing all the beast pirates. We're trying to make it to the roof to get Kaido. We get introduced to Yamato, the fucking goat. Fuck, fuck, uh... I didn't even forget his name. Uh, the, the traitor. You guys know what I'm talking I forget his name. The, what is it? The Akazaya 9, bro? They low-key got bodied by Kaido. I'm not gonna lie to you. All these fights fire okay the ice only stuff that shit dragged i'm not gonna lie to you that shit dragged 10 15 gas gas i reacted to that go watch that shit that shit was peak marco gas chopper is queen and eh. bro let's all right we're on the rooftop now we're on the rooftop i didn't see the film rest so i gotta go watch that movie. let me know if you guys would want me to react to that luffy gets knocked out for the 50th time saji queen Ooh. Oh, I reacted to that too. Go watch that shit. <laughs> Gas, bro. Yamato versus Kaido. Luffy comes in riding Momonosuke. Zoro vs. King. Stop it, dude. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Big Mom. Oh my god, that episode was cast. Zoro vs. King. I didn't I unfortunately react to that. I'm sorry. I didn't. Here we're going. Gear 5 is coming, bro. Gear 5 is coming. There it is! Fucking peak, bro. One Piece does it again. I think currently we're on episode like 1082. This only goes to 1071. Uh, I couldn't find one. It's like up to date. They don't want to make these fucking videos every week. But damn, bro, how far we've come. One Piece is just so amazing. Honestly, I, so I, I react to One Piece every week. At least I try to. So drop a like, subscribe button if you guys want to see that. Damn, bro, I love this show so much. Nothing else compares to One Piece with its like storytelling, world building, the, the, just the characters. Like I, I just, I love all these characters. I love this show that Oda has created. It's just honestly so rare. Honest, no anime can do this. Like Attack on Titan and One Piece, bro. They're like the two that their, their storytelling is beyond any like imagination. I don't know how else to put it, bro. Isayama and Oda, geniuses. Uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.